Okay, hello, this is Crossing the Sticks, and... <laughs> Sorry. And today I am going to do a 2v2. On, uh, well, I'm going to cast, rather. A 2v2 on Titan's Eye. So... Uh, it's sure to be interesting. <laughs> Uh, the problem being that I've been trying all day to get a game without levers, and it has not worked. I've done, th casted three hour long games, well, not, uh, uh two hour long games and one, uh, 20 minute game with someone who left, and it's really annoying because I don't want to know if, I don't know if I should post those or not. I probably will end up doing that, but this is going to be a 2v2 on Titan's Eye. Uh, if you know, <laughs> well, if you know about Titan's Eye, you will know that there are two lanes on it. Um, which means 2v2 works surprisingly well, um, all things considered. So we're going to do this. It's going to be a lot easier to talk about, surely, um, when there's only two fights to focus on at a time early game. So uh, we'll see. How this... Oh my goodness! Stop that. Okay, so on the... I guess this is the Harbinger team. There's going to be White Tiger and Nagindi. And on the other team, the Guardians, I suppose. It is going to be Tempest and White Lord. Oh, they didn't... Yeah, the, uh, the cursor bug is just when you mouse over one of these. Uh, it bugs out and you can't see your cursor, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but this is the exclusive test phase, so nothing you see here is actually representative of the final product. So let's get it on. Okay, so, uh, well, the features about Titan's Eye are really that there's one tower. Uh, well, one there's not like the two tower ones. Uh, there is crystal energy, which the, you can get power-ups from these pedestals here. And uh, there's a kill limit of 26 per team. So if you get to 26 kills, you win for your team. Oh, yeah. And this brush. Uh, it's like League of Legends brush, but small. So that can be good. Uh, as you can see, Nagindi here using it to his advantage, getting a little bit of damage out on White Lord, but White Lord doing a little bit of damage in return. Uh, but White Lord definitely came out of that uh, less uh, in a good position. But um, either way, it does look like White Tiger is wanting this power up here. No, he's going to be falling back. So the power up here is going to. Not spawn, I guess. Unless he already got it. I don't know. Okay, so now we begin. White Lord already had a considerable disadvantage. Although, if he leveled up his passive, which he did, um, every enemy that is, uh, every creep or uh, every everything that is slain nearby is going to give him extra man regen, or health regen. So he should be fine. I'm not sure if he's wanting to stand all the way uh, back there. Uh, Nagindi can easily come back and take him out. He can't retreat to his tower, so that's fine. Here, White Tiger, I'd be careful I was Tempest. Tempest is pretty squishy, and White Tiger has pretty heavy attacks. A uh, great melee champion, or hero. Okay, Nagindi going to be pushing pretty heavily towards this tower right now. It's already going to begin taking damage. Uh, but Nagindi taking a lot of damage from that tower. Going to have to pull back. One more shot would have had him down. Um, so that would have been bad. So this gives him uh, lifesteal. And additional damage. And Nagindi actually walked all the way back, regenerated, and is walking all the way back again. Here, he's going to pick up that. That's going to give him speed. 
Maybe that gives him speed. That might... Yeah, that's definitely the speed buff. Okay, I thought it was going to be purple there for a second. Tentacles, as you can see. <laughs> I was going to be walking back into lane. He was stealth there for a little while. The the gas, it's kind of like a gas when it comes out, so you are stealth for a little while afterwards. Let's see, he's going to grab the healing. You, the thing about these runes is you don't have to use them right away, but you have room for one. And you can uh, pop them whenever you want. First and they are blood. extremely helpful. First blood over here. Uh, as I said, Tempest is extremely squishy. And uh, White Tiger is an incredible melee attacker. So, um... Uh, he, uh, you know, one little mistake by Tempest, and he's probably going to go down. Uh, speaking of which, over here, Nagindi... Uh, walking back, you know, walking back, firing, walking back, firing. Now, White Lord's gonna come up from behind him. He's gonna block off his escape. There's a stun. Um, but once again, White Lord taking more damage than his opponent. He's actually taking a lot of range damage right now. Nagindi would probably, you know, do well to find out that he's so low on health right now. Um, does he have any nuking abilities, I wonder? Uh, so he has the stun. Yes, he does. So he could get that stun on him very quickly if he found him. So I would advise Nick Indy to do that. He is leveled up. There we go. There's the stun. Uh, from White Lord. Actually getting all of his health back. Is as it should be. Huh. Don't know how that happened. But, uh, White Tiger going to the shop here. Going to pick up that rune. That is a speed rune. So he's going to be able to run around very fast. He's probably... Wow, a lot of damage coming down on Nagindi. They're from... Tempest, who just uh, teleports in. Ooh, White Lord. White Lord going to be in trouble here. In comes the white tiger. He sees him run. He's going to be walking past that. Taking a lot of tower damage there. He is very, very low. Only 88 health left. He's going to want to run into here. He's going to stealth. White tiger knows exactly where he is. He's going to turn around and try and go the other direction. There's the stun. Very nice maneuver. But white tiger is very fast. And the second till for the Harbinger team. Second till for white Tiger, actually. Nagindi was very close to going down there uh, from the teleport from Tempest, uh, but he ended up not go going down. Actually walking back here around the turret and White Lord uh, was taking a lot of damage from the turret, and if he stayed and tried to get Nagindi, he would have gone down to turret fire instead. So good play there by Nagindi and White Tiger. Lucky White Tiger had that speed buffer. Nagindi would have been, you know, a little bit screwed like uh, Tempest right there. <laughs> As you can see, he's just so good at just chasing down and being blatantly faster than his, than his opponent. Uh, you know, he has run out of mana though, so I'm not sure how long he's going to be able to keep that up. Let's see. White Lord and Nagindi about the same health percentage here. Both about half. And the trap is going to be placed seemingly inconspicuously in the field. And there the, there we go. There's the teleport and the ultimate doing a lot of damage and stun to Nagindi. Walks straight into it and is going to take damage from that. You know, Tempest is going to uh, teleport back down there. White Tiger, though, coming in. He's going to catch White Lord way out of position. No, it doesn't look like he's actually going down that way. He's going to... Uh, he might still catch... No, Nagindi pushes him back. But he's still going to go back for Nagindi, even though White Lord... Uh, even though White Tiger's coming in. And he's going to go down. See, still the speed, just the blatantly great chasing ability that white tiger has is overpowering his opponent his opponents i mean he can just walk in and easily easily uh get you know get 
get the kill for that. I mean, because they're going to run away, but they don't realize that they need to run away a lot sooner than they normally would if White Tiger's chasing them. Because he has massive, massive speed. There we go. See, it goes right up to 750. That is the maximum speed. He goes max speed when he's chasing, which is pretty insane considering he also has life steal and additional damage during that time. But here, White Lord uh, and Tempest, Tempest rather, very well may team up against him if he are able. There we go. There's the shimmering no, uh, sh shimmering shoes. Shimmering shoes. Yep, shimmering shoes to get in there. But White uh, White Tiger takes down Tempest, uh, and then there's the stun from White Lord. He's getting out of there as fast as he can. He, they may have the same amount of health, but. Uh, White Tiger has a large, large capacity for doing damage. So um, he gets the stun and he's going to use his Shimmering Shoes again to get right out of his way. And White Tiger is going to use his Life Steal to be able to get that. It does look like White Lord is trying to use his AoE stun and damage for a little bit of harassment there so that White Lord doesn't have the opportunity to actually do damage to him. There we go, Tempest coming in with his, uh, his Teleport and his ultimate. White Lord going to go down. And Tempest gonna just teleport back to base. I didn't really make the best decision about landing against White Tiger. Personally, I think Bastion would have been a good choice, except that they need uh, damage output in the 2v2. Okay, he's gonna teleport up here. He's gonna walk right into the trap, though. Uh, when he's uh, trying to use that technical advantage, but White Lord doing a lot of damage, actually. He doesn't pop his stun, though, and because of that, he's able to get away from him. Now, once again, uh, White Tiger opting not to get this gold gem, I guess? This is a gold one, a gold rune, so he's able to get that and get a large bonus to gold if he actually wants it. Um... I'm not sure what uh, why he didn't take that, but I you know it's up to him. Maybe he wants it to be more fair. Because right now he is destroying. He's doing very well. Uh, that was actually not a never mind. Okay. Hemp is coming back in the lane. Does he know where White Tiger is? Yes, he knows where White Tiger is, and White Tiger is going to just get back into his uh, farming position. Nagindi as well He's going to get back here. Uh, this is an extra damage rune, so that's going to let him do uh, better on his auto attacks. Whoever gets that, there we go. Okay. Now the... The minions are going to lead an assault on this tower. Or the, the creeps, rather. They are going to do a little bit of damage to it, but uh, not too much. The catapult is doing a fair amount, uh, getting it down a little bit, but uh, his is already destroyed. So. Slaughter. There we go. Guess who that was? Yep, it was. Uh, it was actually tower diving a little bit there to get down the tempest, but uh, it did turn out to be worth it because he has life steal, and uh, he's one of the best people at actually doing that. There he's stunned, but the tower is not attacking him. There's the tower attacking him, but as you can see, it's very little damage actually coming in. There he goes through the stun. He tries to dash through it. It's not going to work. Is he actually going to go down from this? He's very close to going down. He's going to teleport. There's the shimmering shoes, and he does go down. There's the death of White Tiger. Very nice use of shimmering shoes. And that actually gave him 2,000 gold for uh, killing him with, with his uh, slaughter still up. Now, Nagindi is going to be pushing to the inner turrets, the tier 2 turret, and uh, Tempest doesn't really want to have that happen. <laughs> he doesn't have any AoE abilities to really deal with these uh, uh, these effectively, though. He does have you know, a moderate attack speed and pretty good melee damage, but he's uh, he's he's trying to push him back, but it, it's not as good as uh, someone with a lot of uh, AoE damage. 
potential. Here we go, White Lord coming in from behind again. He, he saw where he went, and he's gonna try and stun, but he stuns a bit too early, and he's not gonna be able to use it again. If he doesn't catch up, he's very close. I do believe he's a bit faster than again. There we go, Shimmering Shoes, and the stun, and it's gonna get him down. Very nice there. Uh, very nice use of Shimmering Shoes once again. He uh, very, very good at that. And do this right. Yes, yes, White Lord, do it right. Uh, but down here, White Tiger is going to be taking out their turret pretty effectively. That is definitely going to go down. It does look like Tempest is walking across trying to go protect it, but it is already down. So uh, protecting it is kind of futile if it no longer exists. Uh, Tempest going to be back here to protect the uh, Tier 2 tower, actually. The inner tower, because White Tiger could very easily just keep pushing. But once again, Tempest not very good at dealing with these large groups of enemies. <laughs> and White Tiger very good at dealing with a single target tower. There we go. Uh, Shimmering Shoes once again, and that's done. There's the ultimate. He's not going to be able to get out of here. Uh, he's doing a lot of AoE damage. White Lord really wants to get out of there. A lot of damage befalling him, and that lifesteal is just not letting his health go down past that point at all. Uh, it has a very short cooldown. And he's just kind of running around with it, uh, not, you know, not caring. <laughs> now, White Lord is regenerating his health, and as is Tempest. Uh, but White Tigers is regenerating just a bit faster, uh, considering it is already full, and he has that lifesteal. There, he's going to tower die for that. He's going to take one tower shot and move back. Oh, but he's, there's the Tempest. Lots of damage coming in Tempest. Oh, look, he's at max health again because of that. It's going to be, uh, you know, they're just being distracted right here. So Nagindi is able to push down and actually take out that tower. And uh, now they're going to try to go back and uh, maybe take care of Nagindi or just go back because they have to and they can't deal with White Tiger at all. He's just fed far too much. Seven kills and one death already. Um, and he's just going to do massive chunks of damage to that tower. And take it down. There we go. There's the stun and damage to Nagindi. Uh, is he going to use his shimmering, yep, shimmering shoes and stun? Once again, that is a very, very nasty combo for Nagindi. Uh, and White Tiger, I guess. It's his only death on this game, so I would suppose it would be rather effective against him as well. Every time he uses it, it does seem to work to his advantage. That is for sure. Here we go. Regenerate himself up to max. He's going to be taking up this. Uh, that is going to... He's actually going to take a little bit of damage from that. There it is again. Uh, an effective combo and Tempest porting in. A lot of damage is actually going to be going down on White Tiger. He's not attacking. So, uh, uh, you know, if he's not attacking, he's not getting that life steal. If he's not getting that life steal, his life is severely limited. Oh, the flash, or shimmering shoes, rather. Uh, he uses that again, but is not able to get quite into range for his uh, Q what to do what he wanted it to do. Now, here Nagindi is. He definitely knows that. Uh, White Lord is right there. He puts down his trap. He isn't going to be stealth anymore. He's going to walk back right into the trap. No, he doesn't walk in. Well, yes, he does. <laughs> he does walk into that trap. I didn't quite understand how that trap worked, but uh, it did stun him and did do damage and did doom him to, uh, to death. Now, if I were Tempest, I would really deny that tower. Deny the tower, deny the tower, deny the tower. Deny the tower. Just a second. I, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but... Uh, too late. Oh. Yeah, they do have to be pretty low for you to actually deny them. There we go. There's the ultimate. It's going to doesn't st He doesn't actually walk into it. I don't think that it does. Uh, a stun does come down. Holy crap. A little bit of stun and a lot of damage with each of those hits. 
<laughs> and lifesteal for a white tiger. Just massive, massive damage coming in constantly on these players. Ooh. Wow. People are talking about me in the shout box, but I'm too concentrated on this game to notice. Okay, wow, a lot of damage. They can do so much damage to this tower in one shot, but every time they try, they just seem to get stunned. They can easily take it down, but the stuns from White Lord are just, you take know, stopping them. He does teleport up here, so um, he's actually going to be trying to backdoor this tower here in a way. Uh, he does have to be with the creeps to actually be able to do damage, but he teleports back. Just a second. Okay. 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 So he teleports for 10 seconds. He can't attack a tower. He can't regain health or mana. And he can't pick up a rune stone during that time. So that's interesting. And he slowed. Huh. I didn't quite understand that. But that's very interesting. So that's perfect for just hopping in, ganking, and getting out. Especially if you're good enough to, you know, take him down in a couple hits or so. I had that happen to be in one game. So Tempest can really use that to his hand if he's fed. But uh, in this game, he's decidedly not fed. Uh, if we do look, he has a resounding... One kill and four enough. So not, you know, incredibly, incredibly mind-numbingly bad, but you do have to remember that uh, White Tiger does have nine kills and one death. And the uh, Harbor team has, has a lot better farm um, than the Guardian team. Now let's see if you can get a Shimmering Shoe Flash in here again. <laughs> now you see... Uh, Nagindi is just baiting them to step on this. There we go. The trap goes up. <laughs> is he actually going to walk? He does walk into that before it's down, and he's just going to go down. Simply walking into that and getting a stun right before the uh, it actually finished is going to kill that Nagindi. And uh, here we see the double. Oh my god, that would be terrible. That would be so just generally disgustingly powerful on White Tiger, it would be insane. That would do so much damage, but he's not going to pick it up. Goodness gracious, that would be insane. I can't even comprehend. White Lord is asking, if, uh, they, if White Tiger soloed the boss yet. <laughs> and I'm sure it would be very possible right now. The boss, um, and this one is right here. It is Spite Wing. It is Spite Wing. And I think he's given them a, an idea. Uh, nope, he's just going to bypass them. Run right by. And actually intercept them at this turret. He was... Uh, they did do a, a little bit of damage to it, but not enough to actually do anything. Tempest needs to get out of there very quickly, but then again, the 750 Killing speed spring. isn't gonna let him do that. Let's see if he can get the stun. There's the stun, but he is slowed and is not gonna be able to get very far. He does shimmering sh uh, get, use shimmering shoes. There's the stun again. If he can actually keep this going... Oh, and White Tiger turns around. Little did he know that only now would he be, have been able to use his uh, stun and shimmering shoes. So he could, probably could have gotten the kill there. Although there is uh, quite, you know, a not very much distance between the tower and right there. It's probably best for him to just take down the tower and not worry about kill so much blood. when he has 10. <laughs> To be quite honest. There we go. Getting the stun on him. He's going to walk into the fence. No, he's not. He's going to go. He's going to get away with 300 health. There we go. He didn't get the stun. He didn't get the stun. He didn't get the stun. He has 270. 
Yeah, come on, get a stun. You're going so fast right now. Come on. Let's see when the shimmering shoes are shimmering shoes are up. Boom! Goes the dynamite, and he goes down. Uh, level 15. White Lord is reaching now. So very nice. Another kill on White Tiger. Everyone does count. He's gonna go visit the shop. See what he can get. There's the mana rune. Or double damage. Uh, double double power. There's a double power one, which uh, doubles your spell effects. Tempest is here, securing these towers from the evils of uh, these creeps. As White Lord comes in, slightly out of range there. And the Gindi is stealth, so they do not know where he is. Uh, but they are, <laughs> there is a trap right there. Okay, White Tiger gonna be pushing down the lane once again. Almost can one shot, uh, one shot the the Archer minions. Or Archer. Creeps, rather. Up here, White Tiger getting the stun on him on him again. A little bit of harassment at a time. Uh, teleport in by Tempest. It's gonna end badly for him. It's gonna go down. So White Tiger is now pushing in, destroying. Uh, this is actually the God Camp. There we go. Stun on him, and he's doing actually quite a bit of damage. And again, Midgetate. The damage, uh, you know, pretty well, or at least relatively well, the <laughs> when compared to Tempest. White Lord is pretty uh, yeah, intrinsically tanky. Uh, the tower shots are going to do a lot of damage. There we go, Tempest, uh, getting in there to use uh, his abilities to kill him. There we go, stun with the Shimmering Shoes once again, going to take him down. That is such a good combo. They're actually only separated by three kills right now. So that is something to keep in mind. There we go, Shimmering Shoes and the AoE. Doing damage to creeps, it works in all situations, really. Do it again, White Lord. Do it again. Show us another way to use it. You're very good with it, you know. <sighs> I apologize if I'm being somewhat delusional. It is 2.12 right now, in the morning, so I'm bound to be, you know, a little bit on the loopy side in these early hours. Uh, this guard camp is half down already, or half up, I guess, depending on your point of view. Uh, he's probably not going to get back in time. Definitely not, but Tempest is going to pour it in. Uh, try and do a little bit of damage, but he's gonna get stunned. He is gonna pop his ultimate. It's gonna stun them just in time, and he's gonna be able to get away safely. So he's gonna run back to base because his uh, it did wear off. So he's gonna wow. He's so good against that tower. Uh, just taking out these creeps. He can almost one shot them now. So there we go. These are actually archer towers. Interesting what they look like. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> but uh, anyway. White Lord getting trapped there. Bad idea. Stun, 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 stun. And he's dead. So he's not the only one who can stun to death. Or uh... Tempest now realizes his only real option is to lure them in to the uh, to the pool and get them killed. 
I'm actually intrigued to see what the uh, attack looks like on this one. I'm not sure what the actual, come on, what the actual, there we go, that's what it looks like. Pretty much the same for all intents and purposes. Is it going to work? No, no, it's not. Titan Forge is at uh, fifth health. Oh, sixth health. There's the stun, but it doesn't hit anything but creeps. Let's see, they aren't actually able to get it down right there. It is going to be regenerating. Regenerating, yes. So Nagindi, uh, White Tiger actually porting back. So I guess he feels threatened by the uh, encroaching creep. There we go. Nice stun there with that ultimate uh, right on the edge and is able to get him down really easily. White Tiger going to be pushing in from the left now. So that's good. And White Tiger and Tempest going to be defending from the right. Also good. Also depending on one's point of view. White Tiger going to be going to the middle. Uh, he does get double power, I believe that is. His backpack is full, so he can't buy anything else. There is he going to get him. There we go. Uh, double power doesn't do a whole lot for uh, him, as it turns out. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of spells, but, you know, just intrinsically is good. I actually, that might have doubled his uh, ability there when you use that spell. Either way, he's able to take down both of those uh very easily. <laughs> and they, uh, Nagindi is going to be able to push in with White Tiger. They are down for another 10 seconds. So the respawn times are not nearly as large as they are on the uh, uh, Amika Prime. Or Amika, uh, Amika, Amika, whatever it was. I forget, but uh, lots of damage is coming in on the Titan Forge right now. There's the ultimate from Tempest. It's gonna, he has that lifesteal, so as long as he attacks, it is not going to work. <laughs> they both go down, uh, but Nagindi is still here to attack the creeps and attack the Titan Forge. Let's see if it works. Uh, Tempest is actually doing quite a bit of damage there, but he's able to run Killing around spree. and get the kill. Um, there we go, just throwing the spears. Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? It's going to be a nearly enough. Just like three more. Oh, come on. You really can't do that, Nagindi. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? There we go. There's the stealth. Is he ever going to sneak back and uh, get his shots off, or is it going to defend itself? And down it goes. GG. Uh, so, you know, that uh, that was a game of 2v2 Titan's Eye between uh, White Lord and Tempest against Nagindi and uh, White Tiger. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been, you know, a presentation of Cross and Six. Remember, you don't have to cross six in order to find quality game. All I have to do is come right here. Uh, I will be doing more of these. I am probably going to put, uh, I, I probably have put up all four videos I made today by now. Uh, regardless of the fact that they all had levers or weren't for old games or whatever. Um, but I feel like I should get content out today anyway because it is going to show um, the new heroes to those. It, it is new content um, regardless if there are levers and is not uh, necessarily uh, a good game or good gameplay, uh, so to speak, uh, you know, quote unquote. Um, but uh, you don't have to cross sticks in order to find quality gameplay. All you do is come right here.
So um, it is 2.30 uh, in the morning right now. So I do think I am going to go to bed. So thank you for watching. This has been Crossing 6. And this has been my fourth video of today. And hopefully tomorrow I'll have better luck with getting no levers in this. If you would like to uh, be casted in the game, you know, it would be a great idea to just, like, get a team together or something. A team would be good. Two teams would be better. Um, so if you want to do that, that would be great. You don't even know. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.